I, I would say, you know, obviously happy we won, but wasn't our, you know, cleanest performance. Um, so definitely a lot of areas to to work on. We walked the leadoff hitter in the first three innings of the game. I gave up solo rounds in the seventh, eighth, and ninth. We um, the metrics that we measure for moving runners with from second to third with no outs and scoring runners. Uh, scoring runners from third base with less than two outs. We were not good in that category tonight. Um, so, you know, that being said, though, we still found a way to score nine runs. And, you know, Tristan Smith um, still was able to go five innings and only gave up one hit. And, uh, you know, might have had four walks and some three ball counts, but still went five innings and still put us in a position to win. Um, and then, um, Obviously, we got some big hits tonight uh, to break the game open, and none bigger than Tristan Bassetta, who's making his first start of the season, and hits two home runs and three RBIs, and uh, he's just been working extremely hard. It's, he's one of those guys everybody cheers for because his work ethic is off the charts, and he invested time into uh, himself and his craft. He's a great teammate. And uh, so you'd love to see a guy like that get rewarded. And, you know, we've been using a lot of right fielders um, since Cam has gone to DH at times. Um, and so we've seen a, some guys that really have provided a spark, whether it's Bassetta or Purify or uh, Jack Crichton or Nate Hall. Uh, but, you know, with only two left-handed bats in the lineup, get another left-handed bat in there, especially one as powerful as Tristan Bassetta. Uh, that could be a, a nice weapon for us. So that was great to see and I'm very happy for him and the night that he had and especially for how hard he works and what a great person and great teammate he is. But overall, good team win, good pitching and defense, good, you know, some big explosive hits need to be better in a lot of areas, but overall we'll take it. Questions for players? Tristan, talk about your first home run and how, what that felt like to, to get your first home run as a Tiger. Yeah, it was exciting, but the uh, thing was that I had all my teammates behind me. They showed their belief in me, and um, I knew there was no doubt from you know the bunker and their support for me. So really, I just it felt great, but it felt even better to, for the, to do it for the team. So, Tristan, what was working for you today? I, I know you probably had a few more walks than you have in your previous starts, but you seem to get the house when you needed them. Um, just being able to compete after the after the walks and the leadoff walks, I got to be better than that. But um, just trust my guys after the after the walks and um, just commanding commanding things after um, things went bad. So. so. Anything else for the players? All right, thank you, players. Question for Coach. Coach, you guys have been through a quarter of the season now, only one loss. How do you feel about your team after the, the first quarter? Quarter? We got a lot more than that. Okay. 13 games. Now you about a quarter season, right? Just kidding. <laughs> now you got a long way to go. Uh, you know, we've, we've shown I think the biggest, you know, biggest positive, biggest positive takeaway is that it's a resilient group that can play from a deficit. Brian Hennessy said this was uh, of our 12 wins and 13 games. This was the ninth time that we've played from behind. Um, so that is a good quality to have because not everybody has that. Um, but to be in that position so often, so frequent in this young season will pay dividends for us as we get into ACC play and come postseason time. But it's a fun group to be around where I think we even have a, a level better. Tonight's defense was more indicative of the type of defense that we can play. We didn't make any errors. We made some nice plays. Chufo made some nice plays. Alden had a web gem catch in center. Um, pitchers made some nice bunt plays barehanded on a, on a wet, on wet grass. So it was just, it was good from that standpoint. Um, you know, and our offense is good. I mean, we, yeah, we, we didn't execute getting all the runs in. We left some meat on the bone for sure. 
Uh, but, you know, they st we're still finding ways to score, and different guys are stepping up different nights, and, and that's good to see. But overall, uh, through the first 13 games, I like the toughness, the grit, the resilience these guys show, not scared, not afraid to play from behind. They don't panic when we get down. And uh, it's just a fun group to be around. If you had to pick one area where you want, wanted to see some improvement, what would it be? Uh, need to coach better. <laughs> oh, on the base pass tonight, a little bit sloppy at a couple of times. How do you clean that up moving forward? Uh, which, oh, we got picked off? Yeah, and then and moving from second to third. We had a, I like that play. Um, we did get a pick off. We did get picked off. Um, yeah, that was. Um, yeah, that was. Uh, I think our first pick off of the year. Yeah, we don't want to make that mistake. Um, but Nolan's play, where he went to advance to third with one out, we tell our guys, especially the fast guys, that we're always going to take a chance with one out to get to third. Um, so whether that's going first to third or taking a chance on going on an infield throw and. Um, that's an aggressive play and a risk we're willing to take with one out. With no outs or two outs, we have to. We can still do it. We just have to be 100% sure we're going to be safe. We'll s still steal third with two outs or no outs. We just have to be 100% safe. Uh, but with one out, you'll see us get super aggressive trying to get to third with one out just because it creates a scoring opportunity. Um, so I was fine with that one, disappointed with the pickoff, but pickoffs happen. And we actually tell our guys we would rather them get picked off because their lead was too big versus get thrown out at second because their lead was too small. And it's just a mindset thing, and um, it's just a philosophical thing, really. And want them to play with that mental freedom to just feel like they can go get it and make those mistakes. Um, so we encourage that type of stuff. Um, but if we ever do cross that you know, the, the aggressive to stupid line, the, you know. Rather rather make that mistake and cross that line than be tentative and scared to make a mistake. With guys like Bassetta and Crichton and Purify playing the way they have so far this season, how, how hard is it for you to find those guys opportunities? Really hard. I don't know how to do it. Um, don't know how to do it without taking other guys out. So it seems like, you know, we can, between DH and, and right field, um, you know, we can rotate some guys through. Uh, but Cooper Blauser's coming back here real soon. He just had a real mild oblique strain. He should be back any day now. Jacob Gerald's going to be back next week. Um, so it's going to get even tougher because uh, both those guys are in starting jobs to start the season. So. Um, it's a good problem to have, been saying that since day one, uh, and we're seeing how hard of a problem it is. What, what we've seen as a, coaches and a team since the fall, I think everyone's starting to see now, is we've got a lot of guys on this team that are very capable and deserving, and uh, it's the hardest thing is to find the opportunities for everybody. Anything else, Coach? All right. Yeah, thanks.